Dear friends, we are going to talk about cross-tab functionality in Pandas today. If you look at the definition of cross-tab on Wikipedia, it is also known as contingency table or cross-tabulation. And it is a type of table uh, that displays the frequency distribution of variables. Now, if you don't have any statistics background, you will be like, what the heck is frequency distribution of the variables? Let's look at the example and try to understand this. I have this survey data where there are different individuals from different countries and this data set has their sex and age along with their handedness. It tries to show whether they are right handed and left handed. Now for your business analytics or your research purpose, it might be useful to have this two variable table where on the X axis you have a nationality and on the Y axis you have whether individual is right handed or left handed. Or you could have um, the sex like male or female on the X axis and the Y axis can indicate uh, the handedness of the person and these two tables are basically your contingency table or cross tab and pandas cross tab can help you generate these tables very easily as usual i have run jupyter notebook command on my command prompt and created uh, this notebook right here and i am reading this excel file using pandas read excel method and when i execute it I get this nice data frame right here. Now to create the contingency table, I need to call cross tab method. Now remember the cross tab method is on pandas. It is not on data frame. So I'm doing PD dot cross tab. And then here you specify the variable that you want to put at a row level or on the X axis. So for my first table, let's say I want to have nationality and in columns, I want to have, let's say, handedness. When I run this, I get this nice table. So I have two individuals from Bangladesh who are left handed. So if you look at this, you will see that both of the individuals from Bangladesh are left handed. Similarly, USA has three people who are right handed and you can see that. So this is showing the frequency of that variable. So now you understand what what is frequency. So frequency is like number of occurrences and the variables that I have used here are nationality and handedness. You can also put sex on X axis. And when I run this, now I have a table saying how many females are left handed versus right handed and how many males are left or right handed. OK, now there is another argument uh, that you can use in cross tab method to generate the total. And that argument is margins. So if you supply margins to be true, what will happen is it will also show you the total. So here I have two and three, and this is the total of these two. And on the column level also, I get these nice totals. Okay, now what if I want to have uh, multiple variables? So here I have only two variables. I want, let's say at a column level, I want to have uh, the nationality also. Okay, so that you can do it by passing this as an array, okay? So here I can have df dot nationality and when I run it now I know how many left handed people are from these different countries and their frequency distribution. OK, you can do the same thing at X axis so I can plot nationality at row level also by just supplying it in your array. OK, so now nationality is at X axis. So I have country and then the sex and their frequency distribution. OK, now let me revert this back to my original uh, data frame. Uh, here it is showing the frequency distribution. Sometimes it's good to have percentage instead. 
so for doing that there is one more argument now i'm not sure what that argument is so i'm going to open the documentation now i'm going to tell you a nice shortcut in jupyter notebook it is shift tab so when you press press shift tab it is going to open the documentation on that method so here uh the cross tab has all these arguments and one of the arguments here is normalize so if you look uh, look at the documentation of normalize it says that uh, normalize by dividing all values by the sum of values so if you want to do a percentage at a row level you will pass the value to be index so I'm going to now supply normalize argument and the value will be index so when I do that what I'm getting now is the percentage of uh, the individual value okay so let me uh, just show you uh, just to have that comparison so I'm just going to copy this here and pass normalize to be index so here you can see that and here let me put margins just so that you get a perspective perspective uh, so here uh, you can see that uh, this is 40 percent this is 60 percent uh, this is uh, 71 person and this is 28 person okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use uh, one more column that we have in our survey data which is age now let's say you want to know the average age of these individuals uh, in in context of your contingency table so let's say i have this table right here okay and now i want to know the average age of uh females who are left-handed also i want to know average age of males who are right-handed uh, of course in the context of the survey data that i have so for that you can supply values arguments you can say values is equal to df dot age so age is your column okay so you want to analyze these values and then the 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 information that you want to get out of it is the average all right so you will say aggregate function is equal to np dot average now np is the numpy y model so you need to import it so i have imported it here and when i execute it now see i'm finding that uh, the average age of females who are left-handed is 44.5 okay so if you look at all your females here uh, let me just prove that so I am looking at all the females okay and all the females who are left-handed so here I am going to select left and if you look at their average age so here you can see that 44.5 so that's what I get and if I change this to right instead and look at the average age their average age is 31 which is what you are seeing here there are many other statistics you can do uh, you can ju just look at the documentation on numpy functions again don't forget to use shift tab shortcut to look at the documentation on uh, any method all right i have provided the jupyter notebook that i have used in this tutorial in the video description below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment or share and i will see you in the next tutorial thank you very much for watching